Hey there, I'm Joe Carter. If you've ever popped the hood and thought, where do I even start? You're in good company. Around here, we take the mystery out of car repair, one fix at a time. Whether you're a beginner or just looking to sharpen your skills, there's something here for you. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're into learning without the headaches. All right, that's enough from me. Let's get the into Miller it. Miller cycle is ideologically closest to the thermodynamic processes on which the principle of operation of gasoline engines of the Skyactiv series is based. Intending to create a symbiosis between the advantages of the Atkinson cycle and the conventional piston mechanism of the Otto engine, Ralph Miller proposed to increase the geometric compression ratio by reducing the intake phase. To do this, the engineer's idea was to either close the intake valve well before the piston approached NMT during the intake stroke, or open it later than the start of the stroke. Compression ratio trick The declared compression ratio of Mazda Skeptive series engines is 14 to 1, which is quite a lot if we take into account the average characteristics of Otto cycle internal combustion engines, 9-12-1, depending on the degree of boost. But advertising brochures often don't go into detail and don't specify that they are talking about geometric compression ratio. The 14 to 1 ratio shows how many times the volume of the cylinder headspace at the piston position at NFT is greater than the volume of the combustion chamber. But the actual compression ratio is much more important to engine performance. It shows the multiple of the superiority of the volume of the super piston space after the intake valves are closed to the volume of the combustion chamber. Features of the device in modes of operation according to the Atkinson Miller cycle, excess pressure is created in the intake manifold, allowing to reduce pumping losses. Therefore, a vacuum pump is required for normal operation of the brake booster. For accuracy of thermal gaps in the timing drive, hydrocompensators are used, which is uncharacteristic for the Japanese school of engine building. To reduce friction losses, rockers with needle bearings are installed instead of cam tappets. A dual-mode oil pump reduces hydraulic losses. To reduce weight, the engine block consists of two parts and is made of aluminum. By reducing the weight of pistons, connecting rods, crankshaft, reducing the size of sliding bearings, crankshaft journals, the designers managed to significantly reduce mechanical losses. Most likely, it is with this factor it is necessary to connect the absence of prohibitive resource and appearance of the first problems with skeptive motors. But it would be incorrect to blame Mazda engineers, as such solutions are a worldwide trend in the fight for cleaner exhaust, increased power and reduced fuel consumption. Fighting detonation to prevent the devastating effects of detonation, a whole set of measures is taken, among them, 421 exhaust. Manifold with extended runners. Such a device allows to reduce the heating of the combustion chamber, as well as improve filling due to the inertness of the exhaust gas streams. The Japanese in this sense act against the generally accepted trend, installation of catalytic converters, which implies short runners. For efficient operation of the catalytic converter. The situation is similar with turbocharged motors, where short exhaust lines allow for more efficient turbine spin-up. Pistons with a displacer and a centrally located notch. Ion sensors in the ignition coils. To maintain high efficiency and operate at the edge of fuel detonation, a conventional detonation sensor is not enough. Tracking ion current fluctuations in the spark plug electrode gap after TPVS ignition allows for earlier detection of detonation signs. Advantages 15% reduction in fuel consumption, reduction of harmful emissions by 15%. The main advantage of using the modified Atkinson Miller cycle is a more efficient conversion of the energy of expanding gases in the cylinder. Due to the higher geometric compression ratio at the stroke, the piston travels a greater distance under the influence of exhaust gases, which increases the thermal efficiency of the motor. The problem with Otto cycle internal combustion engines is that by increasing the stroke, we increase the stroke of the piston at the compression stroke, which inevitably leads to excessive pressure rise and detonation. The actual compression ratio of such an engine is limited by the detonation resistance of the fuel. 
In the Skeactiv G engine, this problem is solved by the late closing of the exhaust valves. As a result, with the same compression ratio of the TPVS, we have a greater degree of expansion, gases take longer to push the piston to NMT. This is the way to achieve higher efficiency. Disadvantages A side effect of this principle is a loss of peak power output. The Skeactiv G engine is extremely economical, but due to the deterioration of cylinder filling in the medium and low speed mode, the engines have a lower power density. That is why Mazda atmospheric engines with similar power characteristics with turbocharged internal combustion engines of Otto Cycle have a larger volume, which affects the size and weight of the cylinder block, cylinder head, connecting rods, crankshaft. Installing a mechanical supercharger is one way to solve this problem. Mazda diesel engines Modern diesel cycle internal combustion engines are characterized by a compression ratio of about 16-18 to 1. In the Skeactiv D-Power units, the designers went the way of reducing the ratio to 14 to 1. Reduced cylinder pressure at the end of the compression stroke allows earlier fuel injection, which promotes better mixing of diesel. With air heated by compression, early injection increases the degree of expansion of gases, which allows for more efficient conversion of thermal energy into mechanical energy. For improved cold starting, the diesel engines are equipped with improved glow plugs. In warm-up mode, the flexible exhaust valve control system allows a certain amount of exhaust gas to be added at the intake stroke. In conclusion, Mazda Skeactiv engines represent a significant advancement in automotive technology, combining efficiency with performance. Over the years, models like the CX-5, Mazda 3, 6, CX-3, and CX-9 have demonstrated the reliability and longevity of these engines, dispelling concerns about potential issues. The unique features of the Skeactiv design, particularly the implementation of the Miller cycle, contribute to improved fuel economy and reduced emissions without compromising power. As we continue to explore the evolution of automotive engineering, Mazda's commitment to innovation through Skeactiv technology remains. A noteworthy example of how performance and sustainability can go hand in hand. Thank you for watching and we hope you gained valuable insights into the remarkable features of Skeactiv engines.